What's up, nerds? Blue here. You guys aren't nerds. That was mean. But you are the cubing community, so you're kind of a nerd. In this video, we have a review of the Carbon Fiber Mega Minx. Woo. This one's pretty okay. So, the Carbon Fiber Mega Minx was released March 1st of 2017. It weighs 5.1 ounces and has a side length of 33 millimeters. Not that any of you even care about that information. What's cool about this cube is it is carbon fiber, and again, as I mentioned in my 5x5 review, the stickers are pretty small, so in some cases there really isn't that much carbon fiber on a sticker like these edges, but it still looks pretty dang sweet. But another thing that's worth noting really quick about this cube is that it doesn't have any ridges or grips or anything, and it's slippy. That's sort of the main idea behind why I'm not totally 100% on board for this puzzle, is that it's slippy. So turning wise, it's probably, I'd say it's about a medium speed. It has a little bit of resistance. It has the usual sort of crunchy, scratchy feeling that we were getting a lot in the 4x4 and the 5x5 and the 2x2. So that's nice to see again. Although this one maybe is a little bit smoother than those ones, I would definitely say this does have smoothness to it. Totally finger trickable. So that's nice. Corner cutting wise, this puzzle is not good. Sorry puzzle, you suck. Okay, well now it's not doing so bad. You know, it goes pretty close to one piece for forward. It's got just about nothing for reverse, except for right now for some stupid reason. I would not call this a good corner cutter, there are definitely better corner cutting Mega Minxes out there. Stability wise, this is actually a really really stable Mega Minx, I am totally confident in dropping this on the ground, it does not feel like it's going to explode, or pop, or even get damaged, so that's cool. Whoa, that looks cool, darn it, stay on camera! That's awesome. I've never gotten a pop on this cube. I've never felt like it's come close to popping. It is pretty dang stable. Lockups happen from time to time. That's just because of the bad corner cutting and because of just the not amazing turningness of the puzzle. So it does lock up from time to time. Flowing is okay. It can go from turn to turn reasonably well, but not amazingly. The main area of issue comes from, I don't know why, but I always kind of get slightly sweaty hands when I use this puzzle. Don't know why. I don't know if it's just the shape of the Mega Minx, it's kind of weird to grip with just your fingertips all the time, but that's what you're doing with every puzzle, so it's not about fingertips, I don't know, but my fingers just kind of always end up feeling slippery on this Mega Minx, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's the texture of the carbon fiber stickers that just sort of stimulate my fingertips to get sweaty, but it's weird. I don't know if this happens with anyone else. This might just be me, so don't, uh, don't, like, not get this puzzle just because my fingers get sweaty. I wouldn't call that a reason not to get this. I just, it's just a point in a review, okay? Get over it. As usual, the carbon fiber stickers look fantastic. They're holding up really well after over a year of use, and it's great. One other sort of annoyance about this cube is it has a sort of plasticky noise. If I kind of squeeze it, um, listen, listen to this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a dangerous move and I'm going to move my microphone down here. There's the microphone. Listen. Hear that? You get that sound going when you're moving it and it's not good bad, it's annoying, and it sounds cheap, and it's not, not my favorite. Go back up there. But other than that, I'd say this is a pretty good casual Mega Minx. The color scheme is really nice. It looks, all the colors are distinguishable, and it looks really presentable, and it is a cool looking puzzle. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the Carbon Fiber Mega Minx. It's a pretty okay puzzle. And that's my review. If you guys do decide to pick it up, be sure to check out speedkeepshop.com. Use the discount code at checkout to help support me and what I do and make my channel more awesome. Thanks for doing that, everyone. That's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.